hello everyone welcome once again to my youtube channel this is in kiru bringing you global facts from the historic city of prague in czech republic prague is the capital city of the czech republic your visit to Prague is incomplete if you have not seen the popular cultural attractions and the city's beautiful architectural landmarks. There are several ways to cruise around the city of Prague. Hop on a sightseeing bus for a panoramic tour of the city. Join a boat cruise to view the city from the Vlatava River. Grab the rare privilege to tour Prague in style, lounging in an old-time convertible. The horse carriages are always on standby and at your service. Be environmentally friendly and zip through the streets of Prague with an electric scooter. Or embark on a thrilling trike and electric scooter tour. A tourist train tour is another wonderful way to view the city. I experimented with different sightseeing tours. On the bus ride, we cruised round the city centre and had a panoramic view of the Golden City. We only made one stop at the Prague Castle. This is the Castle of Prague right behind me. The Prague Castle was built in the 9th century and is the largest ancient castle in the world. The castle was a seat of power for the Roman emperors, including King Charles IV. It is currently the office of the President of the Czech Republic. Prague Castle is the number one tourist attraction in Prague and attracts thousands of tourists per day. It is the absolute highlight of your trip to Prague. The view from the Prague Castle is very awesome. The Prague Castle is one of the best spots to get a clear panoramic view of the city. Our bus sightseeing tour ended at the Old Town Square, a historic square in Prague Old Town. The Old Town Square is the heart of Prague Old Town and very famous for the Prague Astronomical Clock. A medieval astronomical clock on the Old Town Hall. It is believed that the clock can locate aliens. The Old Town Square is one of the major tourist attractions in Prague and almost all the sightseeing tours take off from this point. The Old Town Convertible was more fun, just relaxing in the luxurious interiors and taking in the beauty of the Golden City. So I decided to make no stops. I simply sat back and cruised round the city. Not only was I fascinated by the city's beautiful architectural landmarks, I was also mesmerized by the unique sharing of the road by both vehicles and trains. Come with me, let's cruise around Prague. Catch you guys later. The tour ended at the Wenceslas Square. The Wenceslas Square in Prague New Town is one of the largest squares in Europe and the main shopping center for tourists. This is where you find the most popular brands. It is also a popular place for large demonstrations, celebrations and other public gatherings. Many historical events 
have taken place here. The ride is over! <laughs> This is Prague New Town. Ooh. I seized the opportunity to stroll around and take in the beauty of this unique square. And this is me cruising around the Prague New Town. Woo! Beautiful city, historical city of Prague. Ironically, Vincenzo Square is not square shaped at all. It rather looks more like a boulevard. A very broad street with a broad central reservation. My electric scooter solo tour through Prague New Town was more fun than I had imagined. I checked out shopping areas for future shopping and found other shopping streets with popular brands. My absolute favorite tour was the electric scooter and trike tour. Before the tour kicked off, we had a short training to master the trike and scooters. Not only was it fun zipping around the Golden City on a trike holly, we also made several stops at different historic landmarks and city highlights. Our first stop was the Charles Bridge. We're going to Charles Bridge. Hooray! That is the Charles Bridge. It's over there. Charles Bridge is one of the oldest medieval stone arch bridge in Europe. It used to be the only means to cross the Flatava River and the only connection between Prague Castle and Prague Old Town. The bridge is called Charles Bridge as it was built by King Charles IV. Charles Bridge is a famous landmark in Prague history. And this is the famous Charles Bridge. The famous Charles Bridge in the daytime. The night was crowded, full of people and literary. And this is the daytime, still full of people. This is the entrance. Let's walk in and take a look. Take a stroll across the Charles Bridge and get a closer look at the 30 statues mounted to the balustrade of the bridge. For the attractions like musicians and artists make Charles Bridge a popular tourist destination. They are at the Charles Bridge. Just cruising around. Our tour continues to the John Lennon Wall, a significant political symbol in the Czech Republic. The wall was originally created as a place of mourning after John Lennon's death in 1980, but gradually developed into a protest ground where citizens expressed their views in writing. We did a quick stop at the smallest street. This is the smallest street in Prague, Czech Republic. When it's red, don't go in. You wait for your green light, then you go down. So, should we check it out? Woo, let's go. It's green now. Let's see what goes on there. <laughs> So, we just checked out the smallest street in Czech Republic and now we are out. 
we are going to continue with our tricycle tour. Don't go nowhere, stay there. Next stop was the Franz Kafka Museum. The museum showcases the works of the writer Franz Kafka, as well as personal items from the life of the eccentric writer. In the museum's courtyard is the fountain with the infamous sculpture by David Cerny. Next stop was the Lechner Park. From the Lechner Hill, you can get a view of the classic panorama of the five Vlatava bridges in the center of Prague. Another stop at the Lechner Park. And that is the Charles Bridge right behind me. In the Lechner Park is an absolute mossy monument, the Prague metronome overlooking the river and Prague city center. We are at the secret army bunker in Prague and we are just going to cruise around and see what goes on here. The secret army bunker. Look at it. See how high it is? Wow, just for defense purposes. Let's just go up and see. The metronome occupies a symbolic spot in Prague as it replaced a gigantic monument of former Soviet leader Joseph Stalin. The metronome was built in 1991 and is a symbol of the new era and a permanent reminder of the Czech struggles under communism. The metronome offers a scenic view of the city and the view from the top is mind-blowing. So, that is the end of the secret army bunker. We are heading off to see other things. Let's go. Our next stop was the Strahov Monastery, one of Prague's famous landmarks. The monastery has a huge ancient library which attracts lots of tourists. And this is me cruising around at the monastery, trying to check out what goes on at the monastery. They say they drink only beer here. Wow, I can't wait to go in there to taste the beer. You wanna come taste the beer with me? Let's go. The monastery also has a famous monastery brewery that brews the best beer in the Czech Republic and which attracts both locals and tourists from all over the world. I was so curious to confirm if this speculation was correct that I had no interest in the famous library, I simply went straight to the monastery's bear garden and I can assure you that the beer is as good as proclaimed. Guess what? I found the beer! <laughs> cheers, cheers, cheers! I'm not sure I know where we are, but I think we're in the monastery garden. The garden monastery. This is the view right behind me. Beautiful view, isn't it? Okay, you can see the Prague castle sticking out right behind me. Yeah, that's the Prague castle. Quite beautiful, don't you think? Wow, Prague is really a historic city. Well, we'll just keep continuing discovering new things. See you at the next destination. Mm. The view from the monastery garden is amazing. Do not leave without checking it out. The monastery visit is over and we are about to drive off. Here they come, 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 here they come. Here they come. one after the other, here they come, here they come, <laughs> one after the other.
they're heading out. Oh, that was a beer. Remember, it's a monastery beer garden. Woo! And that is the last person. The tour continues, and here we are. We're moving, we're moving, we're moving, we're moving. My next stop was the absolute most visit beautiful architectural landmark, the National Museum, which is one of the major attractions in Prague, located at the beginning of the Wenceslas Square. It is the largest and oldest museum in the Czech Republic. The museum holds exhibits on the history of the Czech Republic. If you want to learn more about the Czech history, this museum is highly recommended. This is me at the National Museum, Rack. I'm about to go in now to see what they have in there. Out again! Heading down to a new location. It was beautiful in there, but we didn't have enough time to look at everything. So, I guess we'll come back to the museum another time. Let's try to see other things. What do you Remember to visit the Powder Tower, located on Republic Square in Prague Old Town for an amazing view of Prague Old Town. You should find time to visit one of Prague's festivals. You will enjoy different dance and music shows. They are quite entertaining. An absolute must-see is the extraordinary architecture called the Dancing House or Fred and Ginger a nickname given to two modern structures that represent famous figures of dancing partners. The stone tower representing Fred and the glass tower, his female partner, Ginger. The dancing house was co-designed by Frank Gehry, one of the best contemporary architects of our time. At the top of the glass tower is an amazing panoramic terrace where you can admire the city's skyline view. Prague is as beautiful at night as it is in the day. The beauty is highlighted by the well-illuminated streets. The golden city of Prague has a healthy nightlife. For you night crawlers and party goers, this is the city for you. You can party till dawn. When you think of nightlife, think Prague. The party capital is world famous for its nightlife. And this is what the Charles Bridge looks like at night. It's strolling around, just slowly strolling around. Thank you very much for watching the video to the end. Stay tuned, we will be bringing you more global facts from every other city of the world.